So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install LSPDFR on your computer. So before you start, you have to have GTA 5 installed on your computer without any other mods, all right? Then what I want you to do is I want you to make a copy of your game folder. So for example, if I go to this PC, if I go to programs, Steam, Steam apps, so Steam apps, common, then Grand Theft Auto, as you know, this is the Grand Theft Auto, and I have all of the files right here. So what I did is I just copied it, all right? So I just copied my folder, so I copied it, and I have pasted it in the driver D. So right here I have also an extra GTA folder, and I'm going to name this copy, all right? So I'll know that this is my backup files. So I'm going to mod the original files all right so now what you need to do is you need to open lspdfr.com so when you open lspdfr.com it's going to look like this and you will need to simply click on download right here so once you click on it it's going to take you to this page now you will need to scroll down until you see this green button that says download this file so just one click on it and it will show you the download terms so you should scroll down until you get to agree and download. So just one click on it. And right here, you'll have three options. So I want you to go with this one that says setup.exe. So make sure you download the setup.exe. So one click on that one. And you have to wait for it. And your download should start. And if it doesn't start, you can click here to download it. So mine has started and it's been downloaded. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on show in folder just to open the download. And this is the LSPDFR. So I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to click on yes. And it will unpack it. So now what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on OK. Click on next. Next. And right here, click on next again. So from here, you will need to install the files in your GTA folder, all right? So now I'm going to open my GTA 5 folder. So I'm going to click on this PC. Then I'm going to see Program Files 86. Then Steam. Then I'm going to click on Steam Apps. Then Common. Grand Theft Auto. And right here, I'm going to click here, all right? So I'm going to click here somewhere. And I'm going to copy this directory. And I'm going to I'm going to open the installer and I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to click on install. And now as you know, it will install it. And now it's going to tell you launch LSPD first response. So now you'll need to click on finish and it should show you the configurator so what you'll need to do now is you'll need to click on next and now it will tell you please accept the rage plugin help license so what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on show license and then you'll have to wait three seconds and click on accept then it will show you this so now you'll need to click on do it for me and it's going to tell you that LSPDFR has been installed successfully. So now what you'll need to do is you'll click on OK and you should simply restart your computer. All right. So click on start, then power and click on restart. So after restarting your computer, what you'll need to do is you'll need to open your GTA 5's directory. So now I'm going to click on this PC again. I'm going to see program files 86, then Steam. Then I'm going to Steam apps. Then I'm going to click on a common, Grand Theft Auto V. And right here, I'm going to scroll down until I see the Rage plugin hook. All right, so now I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on run at administrator. And by the way, when you do this, make sure that 
your steam is off all right so make sure that your steam is not open so right now as you notice right here my steam is open so i'm going to you know click on the tray and i am going to exit it make sure that your steam is closed in the tray and everywhere and then you will need to run the rage plugin as administrator click on yes and wait for it so now it's going to show you this and then you will simply click on OK. So now it's going to tell you that Rage Plugin Hook can back up your current game version. So click on Yes. So now if I click on Plugins, you will notice that LSPD First Response is ready, checked. And now I'm going to click on Save and Launch. So one click on it and it's going to show you this thing. So you can click on OK, but you can wait for it. So I'm going to click on OK now. And as you notice, it should launch the game. So just wait for it. Now right here, it says hooking the game. So we are inside the game now. And uh, you might think that this is just GTA 5, but it's actually loading the plugin in the background. So now if you go outside and if you press escape, if you look at the map, you should see the police stations. So for example, I'm going to select this police station and I'm going to go over there, right? So we will go there now. So this is the LSPD right here. And this is the entrance. So you come here and you press E. Then you will be on duty, all right? So now this is so you press go on duty and now you click on next and you'll have to customize your police officer right so you can do anything you will choose the features that you have so I'm going to simply choose something here so you can choose whatever you want all right everyone so this is how you can install LSPDFR on computer so if you have any other questions Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.